It's a tale as old as time. One person falls head over heels while the other just isn't feeling it. But why does this happen? You meet someone and you just click. There's a certain chemistry that makes your heart race and your palms sweaty. It is natural to daydream about a person who captures your heart. You do not even know whether that person is attracted to you. But it's not just physical attraction that produces interest in your mind. There is a psychology behind it. Your subconscious mind plays an important role here, making you feel like this and changing your desires in a way you do not know. In this video, we'll explore 10 reasons why attraction isn't always mutual. So get ready to learn, grab a cup of coffee, and settle in. We've got some fascinating psychological insights to share. If you are new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos and leave a comment below saying I subscribed. I will try my best to reply to as many comments as possible. Let's start. Number 10. Different Personalities People are attracted to different personalities, which means that what one person finds attractive may not be appealing to another. If you are an introvert but are attracted to someone who is an extrovert, they may not be attracted back to you because of a different personality. For example, one person is emotional and the other person is more realistic and does not care about emotions at all. You might be attracted to someone with a different personality at first, but it will disturb your peace in the long run. It will negatively impact the relationship and make you feel empty and unsatisfied. So most people are not attracted to people who have different personalities. Moreover, there are certain qualities the other person may prioritize over the opposite gender. For example, someone can like intelligence and not care about physical appearance, while others prioritize cultural values. Number 9. Timing Attraction is not always mutual because two people may not be in the same emotional space to develop an attraction. Sometimes when someone doesn't want to involve themselves in a relationship at a particular time, it can indicate that they are already in a committed relationship, or they are currently dealing with personal issues and need time to process their emotions before considering a new relationship. Let's say you meet someone at a social event and feel a strong attraction to them. As soon as you talk with them, you realize that there is a strong chemistry between you. So as you get to know them, it comes out that they are focused on building their career and don't have much time or energy to commit to a relationship right now. They are passionate about their work and feel like they need to devote their lives there. Instead of getting disappointed and thinking that you are unattractive, relax. They are at a different stage in their lives. Number 8. Insecurity Some people are insecure about their physical appearance, personalities, or other aspects of life. This insecurity prevents them from building successful relationships. They may not respond well if you get attracted to such a person. These negative feelings make their self-esteem low. They have difficulty believing that anyone might be attracted to them. They may also think that you will judge them, and they may feel self-conscious about their appearance. So they may avoid you completely. Or even if they like you, expressing their feelings is difficult. Number 7. Past Trauma if a person has gone through past trauma, it may affect their ability to form healthy relationships and develop mutual attraction with others. They may have gone through physical abuse, mental abuse, neglect, or any other abuse in their childhood. This traumatic history can develop psychological issues in which a person feels uncomfortable and does not want to attach to anyone. You may find someone who always has trust issues and does not believe what you say. They may have an abusive history where someone broke their trust. If a person has difficulty getting intimate in a romantic relationship, their mind may interpret physical intimacy as violence. Their past trauma may interfere with their physical and emotional connections. Number 6. Misunderstandings Misunderstandings can happen at the initial stages of a relationship when one person misinterprets the actions or intentions of another. For instance, if someone compliments you, you may interpret it as a sign of romantic interest while the other person means it as a friendly gesture. Similarly, you may assume that the other person wants a committed relationship while you are simply looking for a casual fling. These misunderstandings can arise due to differences in communication styles, cultural backgrounds, or expectations. They can create obstacles to mutual attraction because the person who misinterpreted the situation may feel rejected or misled, while the other person may be unaware of their feelings. 
it's important for both parties to communicate openly and clarify their intentions, to avoid these misunderstandings and foster mutual attraction. Number 5. Geographical Distance When two people live in different parts of the world, geographical distance can pose a challenge to mutual attraction. Due to the distance, it may be difficult for them to spend enough time together and get to know each other well. This can make it harder for attraction to develop and be reciprocated, because physical proximity is necessary to build an emotional connection. Long-distance relationships can be difficult due to a lack of face-to-face -face interactions, which can weaken mutual attraction. Travel expenses and logistical challenges can also limit communication. People may feel disconnected from each other, and this can weaken their attraction. However, couples who have good communication skills and make an effort to stay connected through video calls, phone conversations, and text messages can overcome these challenges and build strong emotional connections. Number 4. No chemistry between two people When two people meet, they can often feel an immediate connection or attraction toward each other. However, there are times when two people can spend time together and just not feel that spark of chemistry. The chemistry between two people is an essential component of mutual attraction, and without it, a relationship cannot thrive. Sometimes two individuals may not feel that spark of chemistry despite being compatible on paper. This can be due to several factors, including differences in personalities, values, and interests. Even if both individuals are attractive and successful in their own lives, if there's no chemistry between them, they may struggle to form a mutual attraction. In such cases, it's important to recognize that not every connection will result in a romantic attraction and move on gracefully. Trying to force a connection where there is none can be detrimental to both parties and prevent them from finding someone who truly sparks that chemistry. Number 3. They do not care about feelings The other person might not care about your feelings. If you feel sad and the other person does not respond well, starting a fight instead of providing support can cause you to lose attraction. Attraction is not always mutual when your feelings are taken for granted, and the other person mistreats you. This is especially true if you are heavily invested in the relationship and unwilling to leave despite potential harm to yourself. In such situations, the other person might take advantage of your fragility and treat you poorly, knowing that they are in charge. Let's say you are attracted to someone and care about their feelings. You both committed to a relationship. After some time, you are bothered by something and want to share it with your partner. Instead of comforting you, they start arguments or make fun of you. If they are unwilling to understand your feelings, that means the attraction is not mutual in your relationship. If it keeps happening regularly, it can start to wear you down. You may wonder whether they're worth your time and effort. After all, you deserve to be with someone who cares about your feelings and treats you with respect. Number 2. Disrespect When the person you found attractive at first disrespects you in public or at a family gathering, it can be a painful experience. This kind of disrespect can make you feel humiliated and helpless, especially if it happens repeatedly. It can also be a form of emotional abuse that can have long-lasting effects on your mental and emotional health. This behavior may be a sign of a deeper problem in the relationship. For example, the person may have poor communication skills or be trying to exert control over you. It may also indicate underlying anger issues that need to be addressed. Regardless, setting boundaries and communicating your feelings about the behavior are important. No one deserves to be treated with disrespect or abuse. Number 1. Taunting when someone does something nice for you and then uses it to taunt or disrespect you later, it can be a sign that attraction is not always mutual. That means that the person has cheap thinking and a poor mindset. Maybe someone has taken advantage of them in the past, and now they are taking revenge on you. So sometimes they show that they are attracted to you, but after a little change in their mood, they start to fight with you. Let's say you have a friend who always seems to be there for you when you need them. They're kind and thoughtful, and you feel like you can really rely on them. But then, out of nowhere, they start using what they've done for you as ammunition against you. For example, let's say they helped you with a project at work, but later they use that to make you feel like you're incapable of doing things on your own. Or maybe they bought you a birthday gift, but later they used it to make you feel guilty for not doing something they wanted you to do. 
Now, you need to watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. It will show you 12 things people do when they're attracted to you. Make sure to watch it now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.